morning. This is Ms. Gibbling, and today we're going to talk about long division. So long division is the standard algorithm for dividing multi-digit numbers. Remember that algorithm just means steps that you follow. So this is the normal steps that your parents may have learned when they were in school to divide large numbers. So as we're learning about long division, it's important that you have some tools for success. One of the tools that I recommend that you use as you get started is graph paper. Graph paper is going to help you stay organized, and staying organized is really important in long division. Another tool that you should have is your multiplication chart. If we don't know our math facts as well as we should, it's going to make it really hard to divide. So we want to use a multiplication chart because remember that division is the inverse operation of multiplication. Inverse means opposite. So multiplication is going to help us solve our division problem. So let's look at an example. Here we see 96 divided by 6. Let's review some of the vocabulary of division. 96 is known as the dividend. The dividend is what we are breaking apart. So here we are sharing 96 among six people or making six groups out of 96 pieces. The 6 is known as the, the divisor. That is how many groups we are making out of our dividend. So in this case, we are making 6 groups out of 96. Our answer, which we don't know yet, is called our quotient. So a quotient is the answer to a division problem. So you may see division problems written in what I like to call the house. When we do long division, we are going to use this strategy. Inside the house will go your dividend. On the outside will be your divisor. Your answer will be on the top, and that's your quotient. So we can rewrite our division problem of 96 divided by 6 to look like this. 96 divided by 6. So let's get started and look how we can actually divide this number. So the first thing we want to do is get a piece of graph paper and set up our problem. Notice how when I wrote it, I wrote one digit per box. I'm not trying to squeeze multiple digits in the box. It's really important to stay organized, so we have one digit per box. When we divide, we are going to use these steps for our algorithm. First, we're going to divide, then we're going to multiply, next subtract, then check, bring down, and repeat. No matter how big our dividend is, here it's only two digits, if it's eight digits, we will keep repeating these steps one at a time. In order to help us remember these steps, we have the saying, does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers rare? It kind of just helps us remember the steps so that we know which order they go in because they must stay in this order. So always say to yourself, does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers rare? And that's going to help us remember the steps of long division. So now we're ready to start. I have my multiplication chart here ready so that we can divide more easily. Remember that knowing our multiplication facts is going to help us divide. So here, our divisor is six. So I'm going to be looking at the sixth row of my multiplication chart. So remember that when I do my steps, my first step is going to be to divide. So when I'm dividing, I'm asking myself, how many groups of six can I make out of my first digit nine? So you want to make sure when we're doing long division, we concentrate on one digit at a time. So right here, I'm looking at the 9, and I'm asking myself again, how many groups of 6 can I make out of this 9? Or how close can I get to 9 when I'm multiplying groups of 6 without going over? So I'm going to just look at my chart, and I'm looking at the 6 row, and I'm going over. And I'm going to stop when I get to 9. So 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Hmm, 12 is too much, so I know that I can only go one group, one group. So 9 divided by 6 is 1. 
So I've completed my first step. I've divided. I'm going to give myself a check mark over here on the side to know that I've done division. My next step when I look is to multiply. I'm going to take my number up on the top, 1, and I'm going to multiply it by my divisor. 1 times 6 is 6. I'm going to write my product right underneath. Notice I did 1 times 6 is 6. It's my answer that's right in my chart. And I'm going to give myself a check mark because I have now multiplied. My next step is to subtract. I'm going to subtract 6 from my 9. When I do 9 minus 6, my answer or my difference is 3. 9 minus 6 is 3. I've subtracted. Now I'm going to check. Check means you want to check that your difference is less than your divisor. This is my difference. My difference is 3. My divisor is 6. I know that if my difference is larger than my divisor, I could have fit another group as my quotient when I divided. So this is when I checked to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes. So I see that 3 is less than 6, so I'm good. I checked. I can keep moving. My next step is to bring down. Bring down means you, ant, um, you bring down the next number of your dividend. So here is a 6, and I'm going to bring it down. So I'm bringing down that 6 so that it's right next to my 3. I make sure that I draw my arrow all the way down so I know that I'm staying organized. So now I have 36 as my new dividend that I'm going to use in my following steps. And I give myself my check mark to see, yes, I have brought down my six. Okay, my next step is to repeat. And repeat just means that I start at the beginning of my steps. Okay, I don't have a remainder yet because I'm not done. So I'm just going to repeat and I'm going to go back up to the top and start dividing again. So I give myself my check mark. Now I'm ready to divide. So this is the part that a lot of students make mistakes. They are like, what do I divide? Your new quotient, what you're dividing, is your 36 down here, okay? So my next step is divide, so I'm going to say 36 divided by 6. Again, I'm going to look at my chart, and I'm going to ask myself, if I go across my 6 row, how close can I get to 36 with going over? 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. Hmm, that looks great. I can go 6 times. That's as close as I can get. I can go 6 times, and I get the product of 36. So up here on the top, I'm going to write my 6, and I'm going to give myself my check mark for dividing. Okay, after I divide, my next step is to multiply. I'm going to multiply the 6 that I just wrote by my divisor, the 6 on the outside. So 6 times 6 is 36. So I'm going to write my product of 36 right underneath, and I'm going to keep going. I give myself my check mark for the steps so that I stay organized. Okay, and now I'm ready. My next step is to subtract. I'm going to do 36 minus 36. 6 minus 6 is 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. I have subtracted. Check. Okay, I'm going to check. Is my difference less than my divisor? 0 is less than 6. Check. I'm ready to go. Okay, my next step is to bring down. Oh, look, there's nothing to bring down. So instead of a check mark, I'm going to give myself an X. Hmm. Now that I have an X, I know that I can't repeat because there's nothing more to divide or bring down. So instead, I'm going to have a remainder. The remainder is the number that you have left down here. So in this case, my remainder is zero. And I'm, all I'm going to do is write it up here next to my quotient. Remember, your answer on the top is your quotient. And now we are done. 96 divided by 6 is equal to 16 remainder 0.
So today you have learned the strategy of long division. So this long division is known as the standard algorithm. It's the standard or the regular steps you can follow for um, dividing multi-digit numbers. Remember when you're doing long division, it's helpful to have graph paper and a multiplication chart out. And also to follow the steps, divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down, repeat, and remainder. We use the saying, does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers rare to help us remember the steps. Good luck and let me know if you have any questions.